It really hasn't been that long since we last caught up with some episode of Tauru. But Railgun particularly, in particular, might have been a while. Following the story of our Biddy Biddy, shockingly, it's been quite absent. We've been seeing the dark underbelly of Academy City. We've been seeing religious affairs and attempted world domination. But sometimes we just want to sit back with a little bit of judgment. And whatever Satan's doing. And so once again, I hope that you're comfortable. You've gotten yourself a drink. And then you're ready to begin with more... More railgun. But if you jumped into this out of nowhere, quick rundown of how it works around here, just in case you don't know. Video on YouTube, links in the description. Head over to my Discord for any more. I think that's pretty much everything. So let's go. Side story. Of course, with the with the cry of someone in need, can't it just ignore it? Yeah, that head's going to come off in a second. But of course, something like a little mechanical bear, that's not... Good as new. <laughs> but... Something like a little mechanical bear. It's not something that uh, Misaka can really just leave alone. <laughs> it's alive! Or maybe not. Not not quite yet. She's not quite in the realms of uh, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> what, and use his f fire as a uh, solder the joints? Making use of everyone there. Look at it go. <laughs> and just like that, vanishes into the night sky like a. like an electric Batman. Just a little rundown of Academy City, should you have been away from from it for this long. Of course, there are always Mugino. Of course, there's always targets. Level 5 can never just... Have a have a normal life. But what are they after? What is the this organization after? With the level fives, and of course, let's not forget the uh, the attempts at the level six. There's some names there which I don't particularly know. We go from a talk like that over to Uriharu, Sata. A calming little backing track for it. It's going to be a little crowded. And you have a lot of work to do. General peacekeeping duties and... Keeping everything in order. Oh no! Polka dots. <laughs> I guess... Well, it stopped her worrying about it, didn't it? I mean, she could probably get the message across without 
exposing her in public, but it definitely works. <laughs> Damn. I don't want to see you. I think she needs to be tethered to the bed better. <laughs> As we couldn't go five minutes without being bombarded by her over enthusiasm. Oh no. A broadcast all around the world. This can only uh, end well. Hopefully it won't be live. They are able to edit stuff out. You'll be... Depriving the world of such talent. That's what I was looking for. Uh, what part of this is... Is this why she's in hospital now? <laughs> what part of this is actual training for a race? I guess some people visualise being chased by starving dogs. Just visualise being chased by her. She can't uh, sit still. Sit still now. She's strong enough to put up that act, not make you wor want to worry about her. And each... Each and every one of them needs to uh, do what they can. Who's that? Ah, that's who the voice belonged to. <laughs> you seem to be lost in thought. Self-proclaimed best partner. Hey. I see. That's what the partner thing was about. But you've let the cat out of the bear out, out of the bag. Yeah, too fair. Probably better than the alternative. Compared to when we first met that character and how pompous she seemed. She's almost veritably delightful now. Ah, it's the Queen. Can't just keep to her, keep to herself, can she? Unfortunately, she has better things to do. <laughs> also, as a immediate kind of uh, 
understanding of her her power to control people. Well, this isn't hard, uh, highly um, irregular. Wasn't I actually doing something on my own, having my free will just completely overridden? You'd think they'd have people talk to her about that one. And if she isn't put to task pretty soon, it's going to become an issue later on. But why, though? <laughs> uh, 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 she's fine. Ah, this is quite early on in the storyline, then. I mean, Mugano still has all of her parts. And so does other characters. Tin macro, tin macro at the pool. No, just a little disagreement. I, I, I kind of guess right. Oh, he's the oh, okay. He's the one that didn't really get much done or last too long before. Really uh, getting a little more of the background of some of these characters that we've seen before. Dark Matter getting... Well, best not to divulge other series. Accelerator. Did you really think you'd be able to get away with a... talking to him so casually like that? Couldn't have started better. He's not really cracked this negotiating lark, has he? Well, more like you're not really... You're not really coming off in the in the best light immediately, so are they even managing to get their proposal across? Ser <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> well, they're allowed some time of their own, are they not? I mean, had the idea of getting cake go to... <laughs> it was a battle to the death, really. And having them... Uh, having their little... Rock, paper, scissors battle in the hospital reminding me of the differences between a lot of the sisters. She hasn't 
given up on them. She still sees them as, well, more than just clones. That she was going to devour. Good choice of a word there for the translator. To be fair, street stalls and food carts like that are always interesting. It would be nice if there was a few more around here. Is it just a, like a show of strength between two groups here? Hey, it's a big flag. Super strength versus what was the other one? Ah, wind. For a short time, he can create a breeze. Congratulations, he can do something that uh, that a peaceful day can do. What's he doing up there sit sitting on the rooftops? Judgment. Is it though? If they were causing a disturbance of the peace. And what could be... I oh know her flowers. Could only be uh, described as at least intimidation drive then. Ah, destruction of pu public property as well. Sono Tori. He's one of those types. Who is it? And why is he wearing his jacket over his shoulders like that? Other than he's a protagonist of some fighting game. Helping those in need. Because he has no choice in the matter. Okay. Uh, what place was that? F seven. I was going to say four, but no, that's four is wrong, isn't it? <laughs> that was Mugano. He's all about self-confidence and guts, isn't he? Sugoi. Enough to lift Uraru off her feet. Hanabi? Yeah, middle of the day like this, an explosion of that kind of magnitude and... Just fireworks. Yeah, just a... Regular punch. He wasn't being serious about it. She will go far. Oh, double jump. Yeah, uh, I was worried about you know, vandalism, destruction of property before, but he just did that and then Left the area. <laughs> Work together, get out of the area before it starts really coming down. P 
I mean, if you really wanted to show off Railgun and get some good uh, effects and animation in there, The, uh, well, getting her to agree is, I mean, aren't all of the, 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 the top, you know, level vibes somewhat famous? You can't say this was her fault, she happened to be in the area. The, the trouble wasn't following her then, she went to the trouble. Let's hope she remembered where the, where she left her bag. Make a name for herself. The fact that she has no qualms about, I'll just remove the past 10 minutes of your memory, it's fine. Control your movements, your words, everything about you. How well known is the, the whole clones thing? How dare they? To be fair, what looks to be like a trifle in a jar, can't really go wrong. What may that be, by perchance? Why indeed do you have a bad feeling about that? Just get out while you can. While, while you can. Well. Where would one find a uh, collection of photos like that? Some of them were questionable at the very best. How she's been able to get away with taking uh, photos while, uh, while Masaka is, what, getting out of the shower? And once again, we've got the heavy beat coming in on the, uh, on the opening. I saw some characters in the background there, but also... Are we actually getting one of the sisters involved in the... In the events? Successive normal punches. I would like to see a bit more of that dude. What exactly he's, uh, his deal is, other than just... All about like fighting spirit and guts. But as a first episode of uh, of Railgun, getting us back into the, the into the swing, getting us to see the characters, a few more, and exactly the uh, the life of a level five. It's like a being a. Uh, Exactly what we remember as, should I, as enthusiastic, over the top, dangerous, as ever. 
Uriharu being so transfixed on her duty, being the, the member of judgment, keeping the peace, really got to step in at all times and places. And then Satan, who's... Well, the peacekeeper of the group, actually. Coming there to ease everyone's tensions, help them get through the day, and expose their underwear. Which I'm sure helps in some way. But seeing that queen again, how after being introduced to the character back uh, a, well, a while back and then nothing ever done with it. Just getting us used to the idea of, yeah, she's about, we don't need to have a full introduction now, do we? We've, we know who she is, what she's about, what she, yeah, there might be going down in the future. Being able to control people to that regard, having the entire student body stand up at your bidding and not remember a thing about it. Hmm, army of mindless slaves that are also innocent. Nothing could pose a danger there. But if we get to see the list of, uh, you know, the other level fives, all seven of them, they're getting a better view on on uh, quite a few now. Having a character that looks like he would be the protagonist of some shonen battle arc. He seems fun. Potentially slightly annoying, but fun. And the world goes on like normal, nothing to be worried about, just a normal event, like a sports day kind of thing, getting everyone involved and happy, getting people from outside to come in and spectate, and... Everything's going to go without a hitch. But this wouldn't really be Railgun if we didn't mention the sisters once in a while, getting to know that they're still out there being really themselves, even if they are mostly bound up in hospital while they're still trying to figure out how to extend their, their operational lifespan. But should you be waiting in line for a cake, or chanting, raising your banner, let it flow and flutter in the wind, I just hope you're enjoying yourself, not causing trouble for anyone else. I, on the other hand, am probably going to stay inside watch some more anime, which leads into, well, straight after this video. So if you've enjoyed this one, let me know. If you leave a like and a comment down below, it helps out the channel. It helps out me. Subscribing might get you some more. Depends if YouTube's actually actually spreading the message anymore. But if you want to help, consider sharing it yourself. But for now, give yourselves a bit of rest. See you in the next one. I really do need to thank my patrons because they are the guts that drive my channel wherever onwards. So whether it be by strength or wind, I need to thank Electricant, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sao, Afia, Shiwan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Croyville, Gintaman, William, Welch, Dark Shadow, 7899, Mega42, Jeremiah, Tima, Finesse Kid and everyone else. Because each one of them would stand there proud and expose my potentially frilly panties that are my channel to the world.